welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello welcome my name is F and on this channel we love to talk about all things knitting and yarn fiber related today basically what I wanted to do is to bring you guys along with me because I got da, 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 because I got my shelf I ordered a bookshelf online so we are going to build it stash away my yarn I have this perfect little corner and now I'm just gonna have to find a chair that I can put in diagonal in front of it to have like my own little knitting corner right next to my living room I think that that would work amazing because then I can still watch TV but still have plenty of the daylight I know it's great today but hey hey I have guinea pigs um, wait let's see speaking of hey say hello Sylvester hi do you have something to say no but anyways, this is my little furry baby. I have two. This is Sylvester. Maybe later I will show you guys more stuff. Let's uh, unpack this. shelves are now built and it is now in place. I have my beautiful leather notebook. We are here to write down all of the yarns that I have, count them and pack them away. And uh, yeah, as we're packing our yarn, I also want to talk to you guys about some cool projects that I've discovered recently that I want to knit on. Because if I remember correctly, I had 172 skeins or 180 somewhere around those lines. I'm going to find the exact number and list it here. Sort of grouping up my yarns, I'm going to put all the cottons together, all my cashmere together, or my mixed cashmere blends. I really don't have that many. All my silks together. Keep things easier to find. I'm going to keep stashing them away in these uh, plastic tins. The yarns that I spoke about in my packing away videos, I'm not going to be going on long about them again because you guys can go over to that video and check it out. Where I So I still have my seven gazelle wool and silk. I went to Granville Island and I picked up, I think I had spoken about these ones, these lovely blue camel and silk, right? Yeah, 65% silk, 35% camel. These were on sale. And then I went back again with another friend and I picked up their other colorway because they only have two colors this is the natural color if i'm correct and then this is the dyed the treated dyed blue i i'm thinking maybe making like a tank top these colors just play so well together i'm not too sure exactly what i'm going to be making just yet but i can't wait to finally start because this is such a soft wool such a soft yarn I have uh, four leftover silks, a gray, a brown that I actually used for this sweater, it's drops, and one tin silk navy blue mohair that I used for my sweater vest, and then my, I think this is sage green that I used for my sweater number 15. There we go, let's just leave that there for now. So I have four Lang Yarns cashmere skeins. I have this lovely yarn that I got from Urban Yarns. It is a wool silk cashmere blend. I think I talked about this in my last video so I'm not going to talk too much about it but it is a really rustic nice colored. I love this color. I'm going to put it with it because of the cashmere and silk mix and that's true. I have my Knit City skein that I got. It is 100% a brushed cashmere. 
and closing everything and then like reopening and reassessing the yarn. I'm just going to keep them open for now and I will close them when we are done. So let's do cotton because I have quite a few cotton. I have my 15 skeins of cotton yarn and cotton blend, mainly 100% cotton. I have a few bamboo cotton. So one yarn that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about is the Giza Matte, but the yellow, because I've spoken about the green one before, but I also have it in like a banana baby yellow. I've been wanting to knit something for the home with this for such a long time. I've actually been really wanting to get into more home decor and knits, pillows and blankets and just little decorating towels and knickknacks. Saw recently Well Look Knits shared her top 15 or 10 or something like that video where she talks about her top free patterns uh, for at home decor and decoration knits. And she talked about this rug. I think that this cotton would look lovely for, would work lovely for a rug. It is kind of like a shag rug with like lots of uh, like loose flare, I would say, I guess. And yeah, I think that this would look great as a rug. I could put it by my balcony entrance or in the bathroom, I'm not too sure. And if it doesn't work out and I'm not a fan of the bright yellow rug, I always figured I could dye it. I recently bought like for fabric dye at home kit and I haven't had the chance to use it. And I'm thinking of knitting this with this yarn, hopefully the yellow does work out, but if it doesn't, I have a feeling like I could always dye it and try that. And I think that that would be really fun. 18 cotton. So now we are going to talk about all the yarn that I'm currently using. I will be putting it in this basket. What am I using? Oh, this is the yarn that I'm using for my shawl. It's kind of weird. I seem to have lost all the labels. None of my skeins have the label anymore. I don't really know what happened. It is Yarn Art, a Turkish brand, and the yarn is Royal Silk. So that's four of those. One merino that I'm also using for my shawl. I have four drops Kid Silk Mohair that I'm using for my Moby sweater. I have eight drops Charisma that I'm also using up for my Moby sweater. Two drops Mohair for my Mersai sweater by Petite Knit. Three Kensington Prairie Farms. I'm actually gonna be caking these up tonight. Uh, so we are going to put these two in a different pile. My summer tank, I still need to name it, but I have one skein for that. Again, I will cake up. This is all the yarn that I'm currently using and hopefully will be using before the end of the month. The eye, because it kind of looks like an eye, an evil eye. So this one I will actually just put on my shelf like this. Same with the cone. This is my Sanjo Silk Silk and Mohair mix. 50-50 and then this is alpaca and acrylic mix. Okay, so I just had the idea. How much is this? What if I knit up a sock? Because I have some flora left over and I have some kids silk mohair. 65% wool, 35% alpaca, and I feel like if I paired it with a mohair, this could make a lovely pair of socks. Um, have you guys ever tried knitting mohair with socks? I don't know. I haven't done it yet. I wonder if it would be too itchy or the fur would like everything would get caught in the little fur particles of the mohair since it is kind of just longer, looser, and or, oh my god, I actually have hot pink left over from my pink socks that I knit up last fall. This kind of looks like a cactus. You know those cactus with like the pink flower at the top? Okay. What if I made some cute little socks with some alpaca and merino and then a mohair mix? Let me know your experience knitting mohair socks, but this just looks like one of those cacti. <laughs> so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is actually some yarn. I'm very, very excited because it's the first time that I bought this yarn and I will be trying it. And I know in the past I said I won't be buying yarn, but you know what? I like doing this and I like showing you guys new things. I don't know, buying yarn is a hobby and I enjoy spending time doing so. I love going to yarn stores, looking at all the colorful, lovely yarn. Now this is some yarn that I have heard quite amazing things about and I've been wanting to try for a really, really long time. And it is actually the Knitting for Olive. I bought a sweater quantity of Knitting for Olive. This is slate green and I am in love it's like a dark foresty green, but then also has some bits of lighter mossy green to it. Now the reason that I bought this yarn and my original goal is actually with purpose. I want to 
knit up this sweater that I have. This is a sweater that I purchased at Simon's, which is a store. I don't know, I bought it in Montreal when I lived there at the time. This is just like your regular store sweater. It's 100% acrylic. I love this sweater so much and I've been wanting to knit up a sweater kind of like this, take this as an inspiration, especially with the crisscross at the front. I thought green would be lovely because red, just buying a sweater quantity of red yarn kind of intimidates me. I don't know, buying red just seems so like a lot. It screams a lot, I feel. So I went with green because I really like green and I don't have a dark foresty green sweater. And I got, which is another yarn that I've been wanting to try for such a long time, I got a Le Petit Silk and Mohair from Biche and Bush. It's 30% silk with 70% mohair from Italy. It feels really, really nice and really, really soft. And I think that together these look amazing. This one is a little more of a warm pulling on the brown green, like mossy green. I can't wait to try to knit that up. Then I have my three Sunday skeins that I've talked about before, how I want to knit up the matching tank tops and shorts from My Favorite Things. Let's get on to sock yarn. Now I think for my sock yarn, I'm just gonna lay them out. I'm actually thinking about caking them up real soon. I'm just gonna put them in the rack till I decide which socks I want to knit up. I have this one, two. I can't wait to cake these up and knit up this Lillian Pine. I think this is gorgeous. I love it, I love it so much. Now is this a sock yarn? Superwash Merino Blend. So this is a sock yarn that I picked up in Vancouver Island when I went eight. I might need to recake this one. Nine. So we're gonna put you with the cake pile. Ten. And then with this one, I'm just gonna put the mohair to keep them together. Fourteen and fifteen are my Lich and Lace Marsh Lily, uh, the sock yarn and the mohair. So I was at fifteen. So I have fifteen socks. That's almost one pair of socks every day for two weeks. Oh, I love this. Oh no, it's a cotton. Pinner, 11 gazelle. I have four of these uh, fingering weights, which I am thinking of making a cardigan or a sweater. It is 90% wool, 10% mohair. It is in their color Blench Cartha. So this is it. It's like a white, the kind of gray, oaky, Color. I love it and it is a very nice soft wool. These skeins run 328 yards, the skein. I saw over on Instagram Knitting Traditions uh, shared a basket that she knit up and I think she knitted up with wool but I think it would also work with acrylic and I messaged her what the pattern was and she sent it to me. I think I will try to knit up the basket with this yarn because I have this is Fluffy Day by Hobby so I have three of these. These are 311 yards, so I have over 900 yards. In this bag, I put 21 lonely skates that I have used up in past projects. 35. Hobby. Hobby Diablo yarn. We are pretty much sort of done the counting and the putting away of the yarn. This is my hobby yarn bag. I will actually be putting this in my storage room because I don't anticipate needing this just yet and I don't really have room for it. Since I am uncasting this, I consider this back in my stash. This was two skeins, now kind of one jumbo one. say I have 188 skeins of yarn which means I wasn't that far off because I just double checked and in my last video where I talk about how much yarn I have and packing the yarn up for my move I had written 183 skeins this is what I'm going to keep doing I'm going to keep a chart of exactly how many skeins I have we are the March 10th what I'm going to do is each time I take out a skein, I will mark it down. Each time I buy more yarn, I will write it down. Well, let's see how much yarn we can go through this year. I think, like I said before, I'm going to do a wrap around the month of July of how much yarn I used up, how much yarn I have left in my stash. Count it again and or tally where I'm at because I have now counted it. 
Um, this was a lot of fun. Moving in is always exciting. I love moving and just resetting up, thinking about how, what I'm gonna be doing and what I'm gonna be planning and where things will be. I find it very, very fun. So this is it for now and it'll probably change. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.